Boom Shaga. That's the simulation board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is basically we have a look at uh, that what you're doing until now. So you show me now on the board the jibe, how you do it. Mm -hmm. And then I see how we proceed, what I can correct. No? Okay. So just imagine you're on the water, you step on the board and pull the sail up. So normal sailing position. Uh, what do you do next? Okay. okay. This is sailing. You're sailing. Okay, now okay. you want to do a jibe. And uh, then I am pushing sail. Okay. Wait a second, the board Something is turning. Like this. What do you do now? Yes, that's... Something like uh -huh. that. And okay. now I'm taking this. Something like that. That what you're doing is a step jibe, actually. No? Yes. If you're doing a step jibe, there's something missing. And I want you now to hold this rope. No? And I get on the board and I show you some mm -hmm. additional things. Yeah. Just hold okay. that one. And mm -hmm. then we're going to make a turn this way. We're going to jibe on the other side. What you have to imagine is now that in a jibe, you go through different parts of the move. We start 90 degrees across the wind. That would be like now. No? So I'm windsurfing perpendicular across the wind. And as preparation, please, if you make the jibe, you try first to move your hands further down on the boom. You check that you're not standing too close to the sail, not too close to the mast. Mm -hmm. Then you go first downwind by tilting the rig gently this way. Now the board starts turning. Lena, can you turn me a bit? Okay, good. To now getting through the whole turn, your backhand here, all back, has to bring the clue up and your shoulders have to go back, okay? And that one is really important. If not, you're not going to be able to control the sail. This hand is pulling towards your head. Now the board turns a bit quicker and you follow the turn with your head, keeping the sail here. Now, stop. You're completely downwind. The wind is coming straight from behind now. If you do not keep the mast here, the board now would go straight and you don't continue turning. So you keep the mast outside. The board keeps turning and pull me further. And so. stop. Now, can you come a bit to this side? You try to look to the exit of the move uh, and keep the sail sheeted in. Uh, the board keeps turning, but you look right, keep turning. Stop. Now, I make a foot change and bring this foot back here and that foot is going close to the base. I'm sailing now, clue first. Stop. Yes. There, now, you have to rotate the sail. No? There's a very famous windsurf instructor from UK. He gave that thing a name. And as I learned windsurfing, we all learned this word and it's called boom shaga. Boom shaga means I turn the sail around by first bringing the sail close to me, I move my mast hand very close to the mast, I let the sail go and catch it here okay. in front of me. Mm -hmm. The only thing I've seen last time you were in the water, that you were rotating the sail and flipping the sail much earlier. And then you were pulling the sail basically a little bit around. So that's one thing we have to try to change. So as I turn out the sail back, I just show you that this here, this part of the sail is called the clue, the clue, the head of the boom and the clue. So sailing clue first means you are actually almost sailing on the new beam reach line. That means you're almost completely 90 degrees across the wind already and the sail is the wrong way around. The clue first sailing it's called. Now, boom shaga bringing the sail close. If I don't do that and I release my back end now, you know what's going to happen? The sail is now going to hit you on your elbow. 
Yes. And it's going to be painful. Yeah? So, please, you bring the sail in close, slide your hand to the mast, and then you keep the mast passing close to your body, so the center of rotation and the weight of the sail stays close to you, so the sail is not lifting you up or pulls you off balance while you're rotating the sail. Yeah. So that are a lot of new things now, but we try. I want you to get on the board now again. Mm -hmm. So you are sailing. Remember the preparation. If you don't move your hands back, the sail is going to pull you off balance. Preparation for a drive oh, is that you move God. your hand back here and the other one <clears throat> a little bit further back. Yes. So not that much back now, just a little bit. So what you do is you tilt the rig across a little bit and your back hand is pulling towards your ear. Your left hand pulls towards your ear and you try to lean back with your shoulders, okay? The board starts turning and you keep sheeting in and keeping pushing the mast out of the turn. Lean mm -hmm. back, the wind is pulling, you feel it? Yes. yes. You now completely downwind, you keep sheeting in and you start looking to the exit of the move. Okay. Now, your front foot is coming back. You put all your weight on your back foot in your front foot, your left foot coming in front. That's clue first. Now you're close to the new re beam reach and now you do a boom shaga. You move your right hand close to the mast. Uh, keep the sail close. Your right hand sliding to the mast. Yes. Your left hand letting go and keep the mast now close to you. Let go and catch it over Walk. there and sail away okay. on the new side. That was perfect. Okay, oh, you did everything okay, correct. Yeah, that was different. That yeah. was different from yeah. that what we were doing before. No, mm -hmm. so that would be something now we could try in the water. Let's yes. do it one more time on the other side now. Okay. Remember part one preparation. Your hands going back and the mask going outside to go downwind. So. You keep sheeting in, the mask stays out, your right hand is pulling and you look to the exit. Look towards my direction. Yeah. Now shift the weight on your back foot and make your foot change now. Stay clue first and boom shaka now. Left hand close to the mast and let go and rotate the sail close to you. Catch the boom and sail away. Yeah. Bravo. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're going to try yeah. that now in the water. Yeah, it was different. Okay. Okay. Totally Good. different. <laughs> uh, move the dagger a bit back. Okay, and start from there. Slow motion, please. Feet further back. Hands further back and start. You can bring the mast off center, that means you push the mast outside, especially in light winds, the faster the board is going to turn. Head steering, follow your move, try to look through the sail so you know as the board is turning and going to the new direction that you then shift the sail a bit later. No? So target, target for now is to delay the sail rotation. Even if you exit clue first, no problem, and you don't turn the sail, no problem, okay? That was better. So, what I try now to show you one more time yeah, is where does the sail go? In light winds, yeah, you have to try to get the mass more outside the turn, yeah, that you bring the sail more to the side and not so much forward. Yeah, so the sail tilted a bit more to the side.
And start the maneuver. Start. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, 